So you don't need an Inspire 3 when you've got the Mini 4 Pro. By using waypoints and setting the gimbal heading and tilt in manual mode, you can have complete control over the camera while it flies through set destinations. First of all though, we'll just do basic waypoints and then we're gonna do an advanced point of interest, point of interest drift shot. So let's go. in one of my favorite spots in St Albans down at the lake and we're just going to start with the basic setup of waypoints and just have a quick look at the parameters. First thing we want to do is go to the waypoint icon and we click on that and it brings up the small bar at the bottom that we can expand and there's three ways we can set waypoints on the NC2 controller, you hit the FM button. On the RC2 controller, we hit the C1 button, or we can make selections on the map. I'll do it using the C1 button. I've put in my first waypoint, and I'm just gonna move the drone to this point here, put in my second waypoint. And now we can click on one of the waypoints and you can see we've got the action you want the camera to do, the altitude, the global speed, the heading, the gimbal tilt, the zoom and the hover. And whether you want it to take a photo, start recording, stop recording. And then if you press the three dots, you get the global speed, what you want the drone to do at the end of the mission, whether you want it to return to home or hover or land or back to the start point. So if we click on our waypoint one, we're gonna ask that to start recording. We go to waypoint two, we want that to stop recording. We hit the next button. The drone's moving over to its start position. Moving over to its second position and then doing the return to home. So we're gonna set our first waypoint, hit the C1 button. Set our point of interest. And then go to waypoint one. Go heading, custom, face POI. Select waypoint will automatically be adjusted to continue. And Gimbal tilt, face POI. We've got second waypoint. Heading, face POI. Gimbal tilt, face POI. Altitude, we'll make it five meters, so it'll come down low above me. Fly to wall. We will look at the global speed. We'll drop down to two meters a second. End of flight, hover, waypoint one, start recording. Waypoint two, stop recording. Next, and we're off to our original point. Start to record. In comes the drone, nice and smoothly. Mm -hmm. 
Now we're going to do multiple waypoints and use a point of interest. Let's set the point of interest to be at takeoff. And we can go to waypoints. And we're going to fly the drone around that tree over there. We're going to make it loop round and come up the side of the bridge to this other end to turn and face us and then reverse away. So we're going to make it track that point of interest. So we're just going to set our first waypoint here. It's slightly higher up and further away. Just pressing the C1 button. And that'll be our last waypoint. So first of all, we'll go to our point of interest. And we're just going to make that two meters above our takeoff point. So that's two meters above this point here. And we just linked it to all our waypoints. Go back to waypoint one, and you can see the heading and gimbal tint is changed to point of interest. And we want to start recording at that point. As you can see from our last waypoint, again, the heading and gimbal tilt is pointing at the point of interest and that will stop recording at that point. Come back out of that. Hit the three dots and we'll take our go global speed down to 1.8 meters per second. So it's nice and smooth and end of flight we want it to hover so it just stays in place and then loss signal it will do return to home the camera speed on the first waypoint one to waypoint two we will make four meters a second so it'll move through that a bit quicker and then we just hit next and then we hit go That has worked absolutely perfectly. So now we're going to make the Mini 4 Pro act like the Inspire by making these motions manual. So let's just see how we get on with that. So I'm just going to pop in a handful of waypoints now and then I'll show you how we change some settings. One there. One there forward one there and that's it we've got four waypoints in there so we're going to go to our first waypoint and we're going to change the gimbal tilt to manual and the heading to manual now we could try apply to all but actually what happens is if you go to the second one, the heading has gone to manual and the tilt hasn't. So we'll just change that. It seems to just do one at a time. Yep, waypoint one is our start. Camera action is to start recording. The waypoint four, our camera action is to stop recording. End of flight is to hover, so that's how we want it. So now we've just adjusted our global speed. So it's around 1.4 
meters per second, so it'll be slower and smoother. And I'm just putting it into cinematic mode because I have adjusted those settings by going to the top three dots. You can go down to control and drop down to gain expo. And then you can change here how you want your gimbal to respond. So then you can drop those settings to their lowest and then you get a much smoother action. And the drone will just take its position and then we'll be able to adjust the gimbal. So where it's pointing up and down and from side to side while the drone just flies from one waypoint to the other. Beautiful. And there you have it, what a cracking manoeuvre. The possibilities now are endless what you can do with this drone for creating films and getting those cinematic manoeuvres. Why buy the Inspire 3? So another feature is to be able to recall a saved waypoint mission and you can just make some adjustments to that. But you can also alter your speed as you're flying as well. So let's just bring up that last mission by like going to the boulder icon, click on our mission, and as you can see, our waypoints are there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a point of interest at that point of interest. We're gonna make sure that point of interest that say is one meter up, and we want to link that to all the waypoints. So the gimbal now will always point at this location. Now we can relax while the drone does all the work and we can just play with the speed, creating our own kind of speed ramps. So there it is, it's pointing at me the whole time. I'm just gonna speed it up a little bit by pushing the pitch stick forward. And as I take my hand off of that, it starts to just ease round again. And then let's just speed up again. And there it goes to its final point. I think very cool what you can do with that. What an amazing drone. It's such an incredible upgrade from the Mini 3. If you've not got one yet and you want to sell some of your old kit, I've teamed up with MPB. They'll buy your old kit and you can trade it in or they'll just give you the cash. So there's a link in the description below. If you want to know more about Mini 4s, there's a playlist over here. Show me the love, subscribe to the channel here, and I'll look forward to seeing you over there.